good afternoon student today i'll be discussing about the topic ashtang yoga which means eight ashtang means eight the eight limbs of yoga patanjali described eight elements of yoga in yoga sutra these are called eight fold paths or eight steps through which ultimate goal of yoga can be achieved that is union of a soul to the supreme soul these element of yoga are started stated below that is yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi the practice of each element is very important for the attainment of the goal of yoga number 1 is yama Yama is the first element of Ashtanga Yoga. Through the practice of Yama, one can remain away from violence. Yama consists of five moral codes of conduct. According to Maharishi Patanjali, there are five Yama. That is, Ahimsa or non-violence, Satya or truthfulness, Astya or non-stealing, Brahmacharya and Aparigraha. Number one, A. ahimsa or non violence it means one must keep away from causing harm to any organism or human being anxiety jealousy hate anger and such types of negative emotions are included in violence so we must remain away from these emotions there must be love affections and regard for human being as well as for other creatures b satya or truthfulness Satya is very important yam according to satya we must be truthful in thoughts words and deed we must not tell a lie we must not speak to others in a deceitful manner in a bad manner number c is astya means non stealing the propensity to use other money money or thoughts for our own benefits is stealing so neither we should steal anything nor we should motivate others to steal d brahmacharya it is to keep the mind always engaged in thoughts of brahma or the supreme consciousness e aparigraha aparigraha parigraha means to collect money and property for self interest aparigraha means to lead life with minimum requirement number 2 is niyam niyamas are related to individual as body and senses there are five niyams such as soch santosh tap swadhyay and ishvara pranidhana number a soch means purity we must be clean physically as well as mentally we must keep our body clean internally and externally b santosh santosh means contentment we must develop a feeling of satisfaction in all situation of life we must feel satisfied with what god has given us ta to endure the difficulties obstacle and complex situation easily in the way of attaining the objective and go and to go ahead continuously towards the goal swadhe to study the great values great vedas granth upanishads yoga darshan and gita with devotion is called swadhe ishvara pranidhana it is very important stage of niyam to de- dedicate all the deeds of to god is ishvara pranidhana in such a state of a true devotee thinks that whatever facilities and prosperity such as god such as body mind youth intelligence position power and respect etc he has achieved in life are only due to god as grace now the third as third one is asan after yama niyam asanas come on the third number asana means position or posture of body asanas are performed to keep the body flexible agile and young asanas also enhances the beauty of the body by reducing inappropriate accumulation of fat in the body there are various type of asan such as corrective asanas rel- relaxative asanas meditative asanas asanas can be performed from young age to old age without any problem now number 4 is pranayam 
pranayam is the control of the process of breathing it means the appropriate control over inhalation and exhalation means taking in breath taking out the breath basically there are three part of pranayam that is pureka means inhalation kumbhaka retaining the breath and rechaka means exhalation it helps in regulating the metabolic activities and enhances the function of heart and lungs number 5th is pratyahara pratyahara is a process of self control in which an individual becomes able to control over his senses indeed to introvert the mind and senses is called pratyahara in pratyahara the senses no longer respond to the external object that hinder mental concentration number 6 is dharan dharana is the control of mind generally it is seen that the mind has a tendency to get scattered but if the scattered mind is brought under control and set to one focal point that is an important point concentration is said to be achieved dharan is the mental exercise which enables a yogi to go ahead towards dhyan and samadhi now number 7 is dhyana dhyana is a process of complete constancy of mind it is a stage prior to samadhi generally dhyana remains attached to our life at every moment whenever we perform any task in the family it is usually advised to do that task with dhyan dhyan se karna but we do not understand it appropriate meaning now the last one is samadhi the union of individual as soul with the supreme soul is called samadhi samadhi is also called the checking off or destruction of all the impulses of mind during this stage of dhyan when the disappearance of self awareness takes place the yogi attains the stage of samadhi he begins to feel the real truth he forget himself completely he begins to experience the divine pleasure now student ashta